Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over him for big yardage and maybe six points, too. The punter, Jack Fox, to get this one started. And off we go from Dallas. Short kick here, fielded at the 15. They'll take over at the 39-yard line. Nice return there. So here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing him out, coming off one of his best seasons as a pro, an MVP runner-up finish in year number nine, Dak Prescott. I don't think I'm alone in this, Kate. To me, Dak is one of the easiest players to root for their success in the NFL. I think for me and for many others, well, it's based on all he's overcome, from tough playoff losses to significant injuries. But his leadership, his stats, his ability to play like an MVP in big moments, at his best, he really is all you could ever ask for. Play action, Prescott. Got a man open across the field, complete. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. Those routes across the field become oh so dangerous the longer that play progresses. It gives him more time to get free, wiggle away from that man-to-man -man coverage. And with enough time, it's almost inevitable he'll find enough space for a completion. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll pull his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and six coming up here. From the gun is Prescott. Nice pass complete over the middle to the tight end. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll run here with Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys take a 6-0 lead right away. For the offense, you got to love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get out of the way, big time. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Aubrey now to kick this one away. 
Greg Reynolds to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. So now it's the Lions' turn to head out for the first time on offense. And leading them out in his ninth NFL season, he experienced a real resurgence last year. It's Jared Goff. The questions about Jared Goff's future as an NFL starter, whether he's a long-term answer in Detroit, those are long gone. This offseason, signing a lucrative, lucrative deal, including over $170 million guaranteed dollars. What I love about what he's done in the Motor City is he's created a sense of belief, a confidence that they have been waiting for, clamoring for. When he steps on the field and into that huddle, he elevates everybody around him. He's made believers in Detroit. Quite a redemption story for Jared Goff. And they needed more than one defender. Their powerful runner stopped for just one yard. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Here we go, second and nine. That's complete to Sam Laporta. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that'll be first down Detroit. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. First down, ball at the 36. From the gun, call. Laporta with the grab. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Tight end going in motion here. First down throw from Goff. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he goes down a little short of the 40. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They send the tight end in motion. Play clock down to zero, and the flags come out. Everyone was set, and at the line, the quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Offense to the line for second down. Throwing again, it's gone. He finds Laporta. And they're going to be down close to the 35 as he goes out. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. So it'll be another first and 10 for him, Brock, down at the opposing 37. A give up the gut to Montgomery. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 36. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Tight end in motion left. Goff on third. No better luck than the last play, Brock, as he just has to get rid of it. That is a DB's best friend's pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last-second attempt to get rid of it. Lions making the call for their field goal unit. 
Ball spotted on that right hash, 53 yards out. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Here's Cavante Turpin on the return. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. Back out come the Cowboys for their second drive. And so far, they've executed exactly how they drew it up, Brock. Early lead, no points allowed, and a chance now to seize control of the game on their second possession. And, Kate, generally, offenses love to script their first 10 to 15 plays. Well, this entire game script is playing out just the way they want to. First and 10 now from the 30. This drive will begin with a run from Elliott. No one around. He's got space. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. <laughs> he just didn't quite have the last bit of burst needed to finish it off. But don't be surprised to see them go his way again soon and give him a chance to earn that touchdown. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Right back to Elliott now. And he runs it across. Touchdown! The Cowboys get six more on their early advantage. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. He's going to field this at the two. Oh, he's shown some burst on his return. His return gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. Detroit getting its offense set for their second drive. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. And gives him Montgomery to start to drive. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and 10. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Second and ten now. He puts some power on a deep one. He's got it complete. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. So before they can set up for another play, we've hit the end of the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment.
Back and begin in the second quarter. Lions in possession. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. Throw complete to Williams. And he's taken down at the 30. The nice thing about a drag route is it works versus zone. You can find that soft spot and get a completion, but they can be very effective when you've got an excellent route runner running away on that drag route for man coverage. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Out of the shotgun, gone. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he'll get them enough for a first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Montgomery now up the middle. In the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. No game there that time, and it's second and ten. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Off play action. Gone. Brought in close to the eight. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. No run here. It's Montgomery. And he could only get a lone yard. Took a couple of guys to haul him down near the line. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. It's second and goal. Shotgun snap here to go. And they will score. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions make it a one-score game in the first half. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Bates now for the point after. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Short kick gathered in at the 15. Coverage team tracks him down as the return reaches the 35. The Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott just about set to get going on offense. And that lead they've got, Brock, they are never going to have to worry about losing it if they keep scoring every time they touch this football. Is that how it works? It, it surprisingly is. You know, if you have the lead and you don't lose it, you win. <laughs> <laughs> and that type of start, well, you wanted all 17 games of a season, but you're lucky to get it more than once. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Throw complete to Lamb. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help.
Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They run it from the gun with Elliott. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. It's a meager two-yard gain, but that's enough to award them the first down. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down, and they go right back to him. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Once again, Elliott. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Second down now, seven to go. Prescott here from the gun. That'll be complete to Elliott. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They pick up 20 yards there. And it'll be first down, Dallas. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. We're to the two-minute warning from AT&T. The Cowboys looking for a bigger lead before the break. They'll come up first and ten. First down, here's Dak. That's going to be caught by Cooks. And he's brought down after a short game. Second down now, seven to go. Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. The Cowboys signaling for their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Dak throwing again. He's got it. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Elliott straight ahead. And he is into the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys will add to their lead at the end of the half. He's into the end zone and already at three rushing scores before halftime, Brock. So they either got to find a way to keep him out or he's going to run his way into the record books if they're not careful. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead.
Aubrey now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Lions get one more series here before halftime. They'll have to be quick about anything they want to do here. We're just moments away from halftime. It's first and 10 for their final drive of the half. We've got 23 seconds remaining. Motion in the tight end now. On first down, it's gone. Go left side, and St. Brown has it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Patrick going to motion over left. Goff on first and ten. Finds Laporta. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Working inside the red zone. Oh, try forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. That's Jordan Lewis. Finds a seam. Left side is off to the races. And forget the interception. He makes this a pick six touchdown. That play, Brock, that play was beautiful. Not just making the interception, but then seeing the return slowly come together in front of him as he took it all the way to the house. Yeah, I think even for us up here in the booth, it looked like a scene out of a movie, didn't it? Starts running <laughs> yep. it back, scans the field for a lane, then the blocks come just in the nick of time to wipe out the would-be tacklers, and he's got open space and nothing but the end zone in front of him. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. So we've hit the end of two. The Cowboys fighting to the halftime lead here in Dallas. Now we'll head over to Orlando, Florida. Check in with Jonathan Coachman for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw the vet with plenty left, Ezekiel Elliott, putting together a strong first half. He was running with a purpose as he found the end zone three times in that first half. And that opposing defense had better come up with a scheme for slowing him down. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return of the 27. Here comes the offense for Detroit to begin the second half. And that first half, they just couldn't keep up the pace, but they're going to be the ones setting the pace here to begin this third quarter. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. This is Montgomery running right. He breaks the tackle. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run. And that sets up second and two. So much to like about that run, Kate. Particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Putting one of the tight ends in motion right. Here's second and two. Able to find right. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. 
Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. From the gun, Goff. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. Intended target there was Sam Laporta. So it's second down coming up. I think it's fair to say, in the eye in the sky didn't lie, without that ball being tipped, we were looking at the big game. A missed opportunity to push their offense in a great play on the other side to deny the throw. Putting the tight end in motion. They go play action with Goff. Oh, on him quick there, and they bring him to the turf. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. So a really tough spot here. This is third and a country mile. Now gone. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. On comes Jack Fox to handle the fourth down punt for the Lions. Fair catch the signal, and he brings it in at the 23. No return on that punt. And the Cowboys will get set to go on offense. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the gun is Prescott. Here's a quick throw, and it's caught on the slant. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Dak to the air here. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. That one gains seven. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Here's Prescott, first and ten. Brought in by Elliott. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying an inside give to Elliott. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. Just getting back to the line, and now they have to figure out a third and 13. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Third and long, Prescott. He's on the move. Oh, he's in trouble here. He'll go down. The Lions got him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. 
Wow, it has been such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more? Or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? Cowboys putting it away here on fourth, and it's the longtime vet Brian Anger on now. He calls for the fair catch and has it at the 22-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the Lions will go on offense. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Gong. Got Williams and it's complete. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. Ball at the 33 for first down. Running this with Montgomery. And they're all over him again. He's dropped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Job one of so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners too. Out of the shotgun, gone. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. St. Brown, the receiver, in motion right. On first down, they'll run with Montgomery. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. So we're through three here. It's not quite over yet, but it'd take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter. Second down now, seven to go. Trying to throw here out of the gun. St. Brown's got it, complete. And this one does not go far. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. Off now on third down. To the sideline it goes. He makes the play. Pass caught. Both feet are down. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that gives the Lions the first. Kate, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. Caught by the open man. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delay a game. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. So now from further back, another try at first and goal. 
Running it after the penalty. And he's able to fight this down to the two. It's a gain of seven, and that brings up second and goal. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Now Frank Gibbs again, and he's going to fight forward and get in. Touchdown! The Lions get it back to within two possessions. It's a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Fox now to kick this one away. Kick taken in here at the 17. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. The Cowboys returning their offense and this running back to the field. And among his touchdowns out of the backfield this season, this one is notable. On that last drive, he hit a benchmark that he's been pushing for. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. First down, here's Dak. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. The intended target there was CeeDee Lamb. And we'll see what they do here on second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Second down, here's Prescott again. Got a man over the middle, complete. And this one doesn't go far. It's third and eight, need to get a chunk here. Dak now from the gun. Oh, he put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. He's got it. Complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys have likely locked up the win right there. C.D. Lamb with the touchdown. So no mistake in that play call, Brock. They send everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Fielded at the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. 
the Lions. And Jared Goff set to take over on offense once again. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap here to go. Pass taken in by St. Brown. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Goff to the air now. Gets this one to Patrick. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. And he finds the seam down the middle complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And that'll be first down, Detroit. A dose of the hurry-up offense here. Throwing again, it's gone. Got him in open across the field, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that gives them first and goal. Offense in the hurry up here. First down from the red zone. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Well, you got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. From the gun, gone. And what a risk, but he can't hang on. No interception, but nearly a turnover in the end zone. Hey, uh, Mr. Quarterback down there, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. QB super fortunate that ball wasn't picked. An incompletion, still pretty good for the defense, too. On third and goal, Goff. And he sails that one over the end zone. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. They'll go for it. Goff. No place to go. They get him to the turf and force a turnover on downs. He won't get to the end zone, and they turn it over as fourth and goal fails. Hey, I get it. It's already over. But go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone. Offense headed back out there now for Dallas. And they should just be able to kneel out what time remains. There's three timeouts defensively still available, but using them is not going to alter this outcome. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. This is Elliott running right. And he's brought down across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game, the type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. On 
On second down, a run with Elliott. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. A give on third to Elliott. And he'll get this across the 15 to about the 17. Still well short after the three-yard run. It's going to be fourth down and six. The Cowboys setting out their punting unit. And he's going to have to hit this one from the edge of his own end zone. First punt win, 45 yards. This looks considerably further. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So the Cowboys take the win here in Arlington. They did their part, Brock, defending the home field, using that advantage to secure the victory. We know home field advantage is a real thing. And the crowd, they did their part, too, adding to just an awesome atmosphere, helping energize those players at big moments of today's ball game. Yeah, it is super fun to win on the road. I'm not going to lie, to quiet the crowd. But you know what's even better? When you get to celebrate with your family, your friends, your hometown mm -hmm. people, your community, and you know, more importantly, they played a role as that extra voice in that building, man. It is a rewarding feeling. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.